Hello everyone, happy holidays and happy new year wishes from all of us at the Council of Michigan Foundations. It's an important month and it's an important time for giving and giving thanks and I want to respond to many of the inquiries I've received about the future of the IRA charitable rollover. The good news is that it's that it's been extended by the House and the U.S. Senate is voting this week to make it available through the end of this month. So as soon as the U.S. Senate votes, we'll let everyone know. We know that Carl Levin and Debbie Stavenow both support it, and we expect to give you the good news about the IRA charitable rollover um, later this week. I also want to acknowledge that we wouldn't have the IRA charitable rollover without the strong leadership of Dave Camp, who's retiring after 24 years of service as a member of our congressional delegation. And while we thank him for his great leadership for philanthropy and for the nonprofit sector, we also want to acknowledge his strong support for the Great Lakes. He's a wonderful, committed environmental leader as well, and he's also known in the Congress as a champion for adoption. But there's three other gentlemen that I need to comment on and thank them for their service. Mike Rogers is stepping down as a member of our congressional delegation after 14 years of service and most recently as chair of the House Intelligence Committee. And while he's had a global position in that role, he's also been an incredible supporter for our state and bringing to Michigan State University a very rare isotope beam facility. And then you need to know that, you know, John Dingell finished up 59 years, six decades of service as a member of Congress, the longest serving congressman um, that we have. And John, as only John Dingell can do, finished up and managed to go through his last week, even though he'd fallen and broken his hip. And his dear wife, Congresswoman-elect Debbie Dingell, reports that he's healing and his good stubbornness will help him well in his healing process. And John, you know, has been involved in every single major bill that Congress has done over the last 60 years. Um, you know, when you talk about the Clean Water Act, when you talk about Medicare, John Dingell has been there as a leader. But it's fun to think back about all of our visits with him over the years. And, you know, when we visit him, one of the most important things he'll say is, Humbug Marsh. Couldn't have done that without the help of the foundations, and it's one of his most favorite conservation projects. And as I mentioned last month, the president awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So we salute John Dingell, and we wish him happy healing um, over this recent fall. And then there's Carl Levin. What a remarkable senator, and the testimonials, the tributes to Carl coming in from both sides of the aisle have been really both wonderful and moving. Um, as his good colleague in the Senate, Debbie Stabenow, has said, Carl has managed to survive disco and the Soviet Union. And he's such a strong advocate for Detroit and the auto industry. I mean, the auto industry is back thanks to Carl Levin and all of our congressional delegation, but Carl's leadership has been so important. And it's really remarkable to note, you know, that Senator John McCain, who is going to be succeeding him as chair of armed services, said, you know, when you think of Carl Levin, we couldn't aspire to better service than that given to our country by Carl Levin. He's a model senator for us all. And it was rewarding to hear Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican from South Carolina, say about Carl Levin, you know, Michigan, you couldn't have had a better friend in Congress than Carl Levin. So as we think about, you know, Christmas, let's give thanks to these four guys for their service. Let's celebrate philanthropy in the spirit of giving, and we wish you all a wonderful new year. Thank you.